Mabuhay! This is Rabia Oxenio Mateo, all the way from the Philippines. my humble beginnings and education had transformed my life. Now I am a teacher and I hope that my students will see the value of education the way that I saw it. Even they struggled financially, Rabia managed to graduate with flying colors and now she is an education advocate. And in, I live in a country where there's a lot of poor families. And education is our social equalizer. Regardless of what background you have, what status of your family, if you educate yourself, you will be able to land a great job. If I will be crowned as your next Miss Universe, I will do my best to champion for others. Because we need nowadays is not just a beauty queen with a beauty voice, but we need phenomenal women who are not afraid to speak and to stand for the things that they do. Hello my lovelies, my Jassy Pips! Welcome back to my channel. Our feature for today will really excite you and interest you because I'll be presenting to you 15 things you need to know about our Queen Rabia Mateo, our Miss Universe Philippines. And before we get going, if you're not yet part of my Chasapip Club, you know the drill. Just click the red button subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I post new stuff like this and I want you to become part of my Jessipip club and thank you so much for all my Jessipips for all your support mm, universe <laughs> yes and as mentioned the 15 things we need to know about our queen because it's not enough for us to to see how beautiful she is, how she carries herself. As I dig deeper on her life, I became more interested in her. And you will know that later, okay? And based on my title, I will also give my reactions, my opinions about the national costume held this morning. Because there were lots of speculations, what had happened, why is the missing piece is missing. <laughs> yes, the headpiece was not worn, but I'll make my opinion about it. Maybe this is a missing piece. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Stilo's Tropical. Ah, no, Stilo Casa Manila for my headband. Yes, and to my gorgeous friend Jermaine for my earrings and Zara for my dress okay so let's watch this let's start with Rabia's family and for your info the full name of Rabia is Rabia Osenia Mateo and was born to Syed Mohammed Abdullah Mokwit Hashmi an Indian and Christine Mateo, a Filipina, on November 14, 1996. And now her father is in the United States as a doctor and an American citizen already. She has a brother named Alamgir Mokmok Mateo. The family of Ramia is from Balazan, Iloilo, Philippines. And her name means princess and queen. And the origin is Arabic. Based on the interviews of Rabia, her family struggled financially while they are growing up. But her mom made sure they will finish their college degree since that's the only thing her mom can give and Rabia ultimate gift to her mom. And Rabia delivered her promise to her mom by graduating with flying colors as cum laude of Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy in Iloilo Doctors College in 2018. And you 
you can see in these pictures that her mom is so proud of her. After passing the licensure examination in August 2018, she didn't practice her profession as physical therapist. Instead, she decided to be a lecturer in review centers in Iloilo, Manila, Bicol, and Ilocos. The Miss Iloilo pageant was her very first pageant, while Miss Universe Philippines is her second beauty contest. She was crowned Miss Iloilo Philippines on January 23, 2020, and she was crowned Miss Universe Philippines on October 23, 2020. What a beginner's luck! She is the second Ilonga to represent the Philippines in Miss Universe pageant. The first one was Louis Aurelio Vale of Yaro, Iloilo, who finished in the top 15 in Miss Universe 1965 in Miami, Florida, United States. For this year, 69th Miss Universe Coronation Night, it will happen on May 16 in the coastal city of Hollywood in Florida. And the preliminary round will happen on May 13, 2021. As an education advocate, Rabia started her project, Feed Me and I Read You program for the benefit of children residing near a dam site in Iloilo City. Because of her passion for education, she started this program that will help underprivileged children by conducting feeding programs and reading sessions. Last year, Rabia used her own money to prepare meals for the frontliners of the Iloilo Doctors' Hospital. Is she so amazing? And you can feel the sincerity in her eyes when doing this. And she worked with Bullock of Yasmin Foundation to raise funds for the frontliners' personal protective equipment and for the pedicab drivers who lost their jobs. She won best in swimsuit during the preliminaries and final competition in Miss Philippines Universe 2020. Well, no doubt about it. Rabia is represented by famous beauty queen bootcamp, Aces and Queens, who are also responsible for the Miss Universe journeys of Pia Wurzbach and Venus Ra. Rabia will wear the creations of Fern Amato for preliminary and final gown competition. Fern Mon is a world-renowned designer from Cebu. Fern, short for Fernando, one once Hollywood clientele include Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, Mariah Carey, Ariana Grande, Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, Heidi Klum. Amato means beloved launch in 2002 in UAE. Rabia will wear one of the last masterpieces of the late Rocky Gather Cole for the national costume. Another famous international Filipino avant garde designer, Rocky Gather Cole, known for dressing Hollywood stars like Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, and the likes. And he believed that designers are not made, they are born. Rabia will wear the missing piece of her national costume created by Mani Halazan. Halasan is a fashion designer, crown maker, jewelry designer, and a proud Bulacanio. He already did some jewelry pieces, accessories to some beauty queens and celebrities. Of course, our queen has a love life. Neil John Phil Salvation. His first boyfriend, and they've been together for six years already. 
Now you know my lovelies, my Joseph Phillips, why I became more interested on Rabia. I love her. <laughs> she started from a humble beginnings. Well, in fact, they struggled financially when the father left them, but her mom persisted to raise them and didn't allow them, Rabia and Mok Mok, to have ill feelings towards their father. And one of the goals also of Rabia, aside from winning the crown, is to see her father because her dad is a doctor somewhere in somewhere in America, one of the states in America. As education advocate, Rabia also mentioned that she's dreaming that everyone in the Philippines will be entitled with proper education. That's also my dream, Rabia, and I believe everyone's dream. And students, children who are watching me, you must be thankful that you can study. Yeah, and the gift that you can give to your parents is to study hard and graduate with flying colors. Okay? Before I give my comments, reactions, on the national costume, please watch this first. The national costume of Fredia Mateo, our Miss Universe Philippines, was created by the late Rocky Gavar Cole, which was inspired from our Philippine national flag. Blue as a symbol of royalty, red, strength and courage of an independent woman, and the yellow, the colors of the sun and stars, which is hope and freedom. I love it, my loveless, my Joseph Epps. Rabia pulled it off. Kahit na she's carrying at 21 kilos on her shoulders. 21 kilos yung wings niya, my Joseph Epps. And take note, wearing a heels pa na baka 6, six inches pa yun o 5 inches, diba? We don't know. So even me, I don't know if I can carry it. So with the body frame Rabia has, oh my goodness, she's really a diva, <laughs> So I really love it because it's fashionable. At the same time, it symbolizes us Filipinos. Yeah. Kaya lang when she came out, I'm looking for the headpiece made by Mani. Kasi, diba, parang ito yung missing piece eh. So, naging missing talaga siya. Naging missing piece talaga siya. And according to Shamsi a while ago, when I watched the video, the headpiece daw created by Manny didn't fit the head of Farabia. Yun ang sabi ni Shamsi. And the other speculations naman, it's too heavy daw. Parang 21 kilos na another heavy item ba? Baka, <laughs> kasi, sa, Baka Rabia will hurt her back or, you know, the spine. So, I don't know. So, let's wait for the for the formal answer from the team of Rabia. So, in yun yung mga, those were the speculations. And another one, na speculations then, as I viewed some of the videos that parang, since it the the costume was patterned or was inspired by Philippine the flag. Maybe we will violate the flag law, and the flag law is uh, is what you call flag and heraldic code of the Philippines Republic Act number eight four nine one. And sa prohibited acts uh, section thirty four. I'll give the link on the description box also for you to know. Yeah, 34. It shall prohibited letter E to wear the flag in whole or in part as a costume or uniform. So parang they thought of baka hindi naman siya cool, pero in part. So, yun. And another thing, letter G, to print, paint, or attach representation of the flag on handkerchiefs, napkins, cushions, and other articles of merchandise. But for me, 
Um, but for me, my Jose Pips. Rabia, he technically not wearing the Philippine flag because it doesn't look like a Philippine flag. She's wearing us Filipinos during her walk. Sorry, my Jose Pips, kind of emotional here because she's wearing us, she's representing us. She's showing the world what Filipinos are. Um, because, diba, yung blue is for royalty, red is for bravery, and the three stars, that, that's for the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and the sun is really for hope. Um, well, in fact, so the white stand for the peace and purity. The three stars represents the three geographical regions of the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The sun represents independence and its ray. And eight rays represents the eight provinces that led the Philippine uprising against Spanish rule. The red represents valor and the blood split for freedom and independence. So the little red is bravery. And the blue symbolizes patriotism and justice at the same time royalty. So you would I, I asked my husband since you know he is a lawyer, he was not able to see it talaga. So later <laughs> he'll check now. But as per my husband, it it's how you present it. So kung hindi naman daw talaga mukhang flag well, there's no case uh, about it, but he will still check the gown. <laughs> Kasi ako lang, ako lang naman ano, then my mother-in-law si mga michite. So, he will check kung ano, but for him, sayang yung headpiece, sayang nga eh. Kasi, this is the headpiece created by Manny. So beautiful, sayang talaga. And hopefully, Rabia can wear it soon. Malay mo, when she won the Miss Universe, di ba? And dun niya susuotin yung headpiece ni, ano, ni Manny, o di ba? So, yun lang. And, and, sa original, ano, yung gown, it's a floor length talaga. So, they cut it para do it will not touch the floor. Baka magkaroon ng something, uh, uh, you know something interpretation but for me guys doesn't look like a flag for me parang for me I don't know maybe I'm so into fashion lang kaya I cannot see that but for me hindi eh parang okay lang sa akin eh sayang lang talaga na he was not, she was not able to wear the, the, the ano, headpiece so we will just wait for the formal answer of, of her team but maybe let's park it muna kasi Rabia need to prepare for tomorrow preliminary pageant yes so ito na yung question and answer swimwear yan yun na yun so let's pray for her my lovelies, my Josephips, I just want to share with you the statement made by Manny Halasan, the maker of the headpiece, the missing piece. Hello everyone, I'm Manny Halasan. Um, I'm here to clarify things about the sa nangyari kanina dun sa national competition and the sa mga nagahanap dun sa missing piece or yung jewelry na ginawa ko for her. Um, alam naman natin na pag live in competition, maraming pwedeng mangyari and pwedeng may mga changes din kagad. Um, and also because of the situation ngayon, because of the pandemic, um, isang reason din siguro yun kaya nahirapan yung candidate natin backstage kasi um, siya lang mag-isa backstage, siya lang yung nagbibitit ng gamit niya and also walang tumutulong sa kanya. Siguro um, ngayon ang maganda natin gawin, masuportahan natin siya kasi grabe yung pinakita niya kanina dun sa competition, um, pinakita niya kung gaano um, siya ka-proud maging Filipino and alam ko ginawa niya yung dapat niyang gawin and lahat ng best niya ginawa niya kanina para ma-proud -ma tayo sa kanya so ayun, um, supportahan lang natin siya at pakita natin yung pagmahal natin sa kanya and I am 
vibing nyo my loveless my Josephus to support Rabia by installing Lazada app kasi you can vote there dun puta ka sa feed and then i-browse nyo lang and then you can see the Miss Universe so you can vote so let's support Rabia on this on this fight diba? <laughs> Ako, ako naman, I'm not really into beauty pageant eh. Parang, I'm not really so gang-ho about it. But, love to watch and I love to support our candidate. And, this time kasi, the reason why I was enticed to feature this, this is not only beauty pageant, this is fashion, this is beauty, this is culture. And at the same time, there are lots of Filipinos involved in this pageant in this year pageant so i will further discuss it on my next vlog on how rabia prepared for this miss universe pageant okay okay my loveless so maybe that's it for now and thank you so much for watching my chassis and don't forget to vote for rabia and so the lasada app so I'll give the link down in the description box. So, so pero hindi na eh. Parang you can, you can, ano na. You can, kung ano ka, naka-iPhone, just go to your Apple store. And then for, for Android, Google Play. I think Google Play. Yeah. So that's it. So thank you so much again. I love this by Jossie Pips. So, as a reminder, always stay safe, stay healthy, stay conscious. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you.